Before we begin, make sure to follow me on Gab, Rumble, and BitChute. Links in the description. I want to give you guys some insights into the state of modern dating from my own experience. As a young Catholic, it's become increasingly difficult to find someone who aligns with traditional values that hasn't been tainted in some way by current year cultural norms. Here's an exchange I had with one woman on a dating forum. She says, Actual question for advice here. Are there actually Christian guys who are okay with their wife wanting a career? I have had so few actually be supportive of becoming a doctor, and it's become pretty discouraging. I responded, it has the same mental effect as telling us you're already married. We have to plan around both work schedules. You have to answer to your boss first. You might put off having kids. Daycare will eat up most of your additional income and will make kids unable to effectively pair bond with us since we're not going to be around. Ladies, this is a sunk cost situation. We don't expect you, if you're devoted to your career, to give it up and raise our children. Even if you do, what if you have school debts? Who's going to pay them off, your man? Especially for medical school, can you imagine how much money he's going to have to pay off? Does that look like a good prospect for a man? Does he imagine that he's going to be able to raise kids while paying off your debts that you didn't even need to get in the first place? She comes back with, isn't it more important to follow the calling God has put on my heart than how you perceive potential scheduling difficulties? Women are not only for producing and taking care of kids. My God, isn't it amazing just how many layers of manipulation someone can fit into like two or three sentences? What God has called her to do. See, if you don't affirm her, you're not just challenging her own personal decisions. You're calling her away from what God has intended for her and going against his will. And then how do I perceive potential scheduling difficulties? She said she wants to be a doctor. Does she know what a doctor's schedule is like? Their shifts change week to week. What's the rotating schedule of cooking, cleaning, and childcare between the spouses going to look like? Men don't want a hectic married life. After a difficult workday, a Christian man wants to return to the peace and tranquility of an orderly house with a wife and child who love him. He wants to eat with them and spend time with them. How would your husband feel knowing you traded that precious time together so you could be at a hospital at 3 a.m. holding down a flailing drug addict with a couple of nurses so you could put a goddamn IV in his arm while he screams, Help! This bitch is trying to kill me! Help! Get your fucking hands off me! You're trying to kill me! I had an ex whose sister was a nurse, and she got IV sprayed in her eye after an HIV-positive patient flailed around and the needle flew out of her arm. She was terrified for weeks in fear that she got HIV. Just my opinion, I think feeding a baby might be preferable to that. Women are not only for producing and taking care of kids. God, yes, because you see, if I don't prefer a wife who's working all the time round the clock and changing schedules, that means I think that women are only for producing and taking care of kids. If it's not your role to be full-time mom, then whose is it? You're going to pass your kids off to your elderly parents? They already did their time as parents. Why are you going to put that burden on them again? Are you going to give it to your husband? You know what's funny? You never see these career women dating men who want to be stay-at-home dads. Would you go on a second date with such a man if he told you, you know what, I just want to stay at home with the kids. I'm like, I'm not looking for employment right now. I don't care about my career. I just want, I just imagine being a stay-at-home dad while my wife works all the time. You can't expect men to adapt their preferences when they see no women doing the same. Maybe there would be some guys who would be happy to be a stay-at-home dad while women worked. But that's not who women choose, is it? If women can stick firmly to their preferences, why can't men? Ladies, you have to be fair. So finally, I came back with, then do what you want and accept the trade-offs. Stop complaining about the dating situation you choose for yourself. God put the calling in most men's hearts to provide for a woman who takes care of their kids. Men are not only for affirming and supporting your life choices. Women's choices aren't their own. They're God's choices. But men's choices are entirely their own. They need to stop being babies, they need to get over it, they need to start earning more income, they need to get fit, they need to stop living in their mom's basement, and frankly, guys, you do it to yourselves. What men have wanted throughout history is not a personal attack on you and your life choices. You have to accept the trade-offs. Imagine going into a job interview for like 150k a year saying, yeah, but I don't want to work 40 hours a week. Well, too bad. Most jobs that pay 150k a year are going to expect you to work maybe 40 hours a week. No man is saying you shouldn't be allowed to become a doctor. All we're saying is we won't choose you if you become a doctor. And you are free to do with that information what you will. Even worse, as these Christian men that you want so desperately are silently avoiding you, you know who you are going to get the attention of? 
evil men. You're sending up a flare to them saying that they should use you before you use them. If you only care about your own interests, you're going to attract people who only care about their own interests. They see a user and they say, fine, I'm going to use you too. If a man told me that he wants a traditional Christian wife but didn't want to focus on a career, I would tell him the same thing, ladies. I would tell him he's being a loser, that he has no hope of finding the kind of woman he wants because the kind of woman he wants wants the opposite of what he's doing. We do not exist for our own personal gain. We exist for one another. That's not to say you can't be satisfied in your marriage, but it must be mutual. There has to be reciprocity. You can't take more than you give. Everyone in your relationship has to be happy, the man and the woman. There is no wife wins and husband loses or husband wins and wife loses in a marriage. If you're not both winning, you're both losing. So you have to give equal consideration to their preferences. All we're asking, ladies, is for you to be fair. Thank you all for watching. I'm glad you made it to the end of this video. If you have any thoughts, agree or disagree, just throw it down in the comments and I'd love to hear from you. Thanks, guys.